Good morning everybody, welcome back along, Andy here, and uh, welcome to my vlog. We are, it's another sunny day, and uh, we've just, we're doing two things. First of all, we're bringing the plough back from uh, my parents' farm, uh, which is nice to do. We're a little bit light on the front end, because I still don't really have a good front weight for this. Um, over the last year or so, I have resorted to using things like uh, chains, wrought iron scraps and things which are kind of roughly welded onto a, a three-point linkage but we will be looking to buy ourselves a nice uh, shiny new uh, well, shiny new three-point linkage weight at some point but not quite now uh, we're taking this back up to the new yard we are expecting hopefully to get the tractor to arrive today but we're going to use the case whilst we still have it and start plowing our two fields we are going to put those into a spring crop so we need to think about that sooner rather than later um, so we're going to get that the ground turned over at least. We'll also have a look through what we've done at the yard. I've had a busy day yesterday really. Once I knew that I was allowed on the yard, we've been we've been at, at it pretty hard to try and make sure that we get everything in. Uh, which I think we've, we've got well, most of my possessions in there now. The only bit of machinery that's left to bring across is indeed the uh, Marston trailer. So we'll work on getting that across very soon. That was tight. Other than that, it's all looking good. It's another lovely sunny day. I deliberately didn't take any jobs on for yesterday or today. Just to give me a little bit of time to uh, to clear out everything. Uh, we have some uh, fertilizer work to come up soon, actually. Uh, I need to go and put some nitrogen down for a, uh, a local farmer. So I'm hoping that we'll have the class here in time to do that. That'd be very nice. Uh, although the I have splashed the cash a little bit, we are going to be putting the putting a GPS Green Star kit onto the class, so it hasn't gone on yet. So we'll need to. Uh, I'm hoping that the fitter can come out and do that tomorrow. That'd be ideal if he can. My fertilizer spreader can be uh, synchronized and integrated with Green Star, so we'll be looking to do that. Uh, but as it is now, we're just about to come rumbling back through Rivers on Sea, uh, and then yeah, we'll head on up to the yard. Should be great to see how it's all coming together actually, I'm very excited with it. There's a few more things I want to acquire for the workshop, I need to get a few, I need to get a, a ramp or an inspection ramp, uh, that'd be ideal. I got my, uh, my small collection of tools up there now already, which is great, I'm really nice and happy to see that. And we'll hopefully just be able to continue that and get a few more bits and pieces kind of assembled really. Um, we do have our own uh, drill, so we'll, have, we'll be able to drill our own land and our front press. Uh, we don't, I am looking to see if I can find a trailer. Uh, once we've um, traded in the tractor, we'll get a little bit more money, the next thing I'd like to buy would be a low load or, or some form of trailer that I can cart bales around on as well. Because I don't have one of those at the moment. Um, and it would be a nice, a very good thing to have, I believe. Uh, I would like to say a big thank you for everyone who has, uh, who watched the first episode and who gave me some lovely feedback. Very nice to, uh, to hear from you all. I uh, hope you do enjoy it, and hope you are enjoying the whole uh, series. And uh, Do let me know where you're watching from as well, and if there's anything in particular you'd like to see as we get around doing all the different uh, different daily jobs, really, that we'll get up to. So that's field number one to my left in there, but we're not going to go into that one yet. We're going to go into, into the big field. I left the shed doors open, which was a mistake. But... Uh, Let's hope no one's been in. I start to do a little bit of work on in installing a new yard, a new gate on the yard. Uh, put the. What's interesting is uh, there's actually a public footpath cutting right through this here field. So if I just swing into here, we'll stop here for a little while. So yeah, we have some some fence paneling and our. Uh, gate posts or our gates like that is going to come straight across this uh, this point here. We might have to level the ground out a little bit as well, but we can do that. So I put the style in first because if you can kind of see where the lighthouse is, lighthouse is just over there in the distance, at the kind of base of that lighthouse there is a footpath style. So the footpath splits the steel directly in two. Uh, so what we're going to have to do um, for that is we're going to have to kind of make sure when we come to plowing we'll probably just leave a path all the way through the middle here I think uh, and kind of this will almost become two different fields really uh, it'll still be the same crop still kind of worked as one but 
have to kind of bear that in mind that it would be two. Um, so the style is in, the gatepost will go into here and then the gate's going to swing all the way across here. And that should keep the people who aren't supposed to be in out, really. Uh, which is good elsewhere. We've got a few bits of our equipment in here as you can see all the, the sprayer and the drill and the fertilizer spreader in the back. As with our little service trailer which actually dwarfs the uh, the landy there. Uh, and yeah, some of our tools. So I really shouldn't have kept this open, bear in mind I wasn't staying here, but never mind. Uh, we've got our workbenches in here. We have yet to kind of plumb everything into the electrics in the corner. Uh, but we'll get all that done sooner rather than later. Yeah, we've got a few things that we can actually start to work on our, our equipment with, should we need to. Uh, which is fantastic news. Uh, but for now, what we're going to do, uh, we will... Well, I think we'll make a start in the ploughing. Uh, it's a nice day, why not? Uh, but like I said... I'm just going to calculate where this footpath should go, and then I think we'll just take a, make a little run at one edge. Um, just so I kind of know where it is. Because yeah, people will get very upset if we start to take out the the footpath, so we need to do the best we can to avoid doing that. So once I get this all figured out, we'll uh, I'll come back to you once we've got our kind of our area of working all underway, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how quickly we can plough this field over. All right then, ladies and gentlemen, I think that looks pretty much like a straight line to me. Uh, we are going to plough on either side of this, so over there and over there, uh, and that is going to be our footpath. We're going to leave that as it is, and that should come through nicely. Uh, God, I'd use my bestest levels of con uh, concentration to manage that, so that's a bit of a relief. Uh, on we go. So we are going to keep ploughing here. Uh, this field's probably with we've only got a four for a plough, so we we can't go too quickly here, I must say. Uh, but we'll get cracking. It's probably going to take us best part of the day, I would say, to get all of these fields done. But uh, we've got time. That's one thing we have. Um, and then hopefully at some point we'll probably get distracted because the new tractor will arrive and then we'll have to switch this out. Um, and then we'll be saying goodbye to the old case, which is nice. Uh, quite exciting. This is, of course, being part exchanged onto the tractor, so uh, we are saving a little bit of money that way. Um, what I had to do was uh, lay down the full amount of the money first, and then we'll we'll be reimbursed with a little, a uh, little bit of, a um, little bit of money, not a great deal. We'll get that back into our bank account. So uh, it's going to be a sad day actually, because this I've been through a lot with this tractor. It really helped me. Well, without this, I wouldn't have got to where I am now. So uh, that is for sure. Uh, so it's a little bit sad, but it's also. It's also great to be to be moving on to bigger and better machinery, uh, I must say. It's a little bit of a mess, misty morning this morning. It's supposed to burn off by about 10 o'clock-ish, I think. Uh, we're still nowhere near it yet, but we'll... Uh, I'm sure it'll come along. The soil is quite dry. The ground's pretty dry. It hasn't had a great deal of rain on it thus far. Uh, so we're turning it over quite nicely here. This field is... For the most part, very good. It's it's quite light soil, uh, particularly on the hill there. Uh, but it's got a lot of sand in it as well, so it does mean that we lose nutrients quite quickly. So we need to be careful of that. Uh, but ultimately, yeah, very nice, very nice soil so far. Um, and yeah, I think we'll get some. We're gonna start with a crop of spring barley, and then we'll go into um, probably into some winter barley, and then um, oilseed rape from there. But uh, plenty of us to be looking at there, that's for sure. Uh, but what we'll do for now, we're just going to keep pushing on for a little bit longer, see how we get going. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, our tractor should be arriving shortly, so we'll come back when the new machine's here. Okay, folks, we've been lucky enough that the mist has burnt off. Uh, unfortunately, though, we had to stop for a while because it was... Uh, it did start to rain for a little bit, so we took a little bit of time off. But uh, we're back, uh, we're working away here. I have had a phone call, very exciting phone call, I think a phone call that every farmer wants to hear. Uh, say my new tractor is about here, so I am eagerly keeping an eye out for it. Yet to see it, but it can't be too far away. Um, and we'll have a look at that when it arrives. So all being well, it's just coming up, rumbling up the road here now. Uh, it does. It will be coming from this direction, um, as it has to. It's coming from the main, from the motorway, uh, which is south of us. So 
Yeah, it's got to be here somewhere. Uh, so I can't wait to see this. I'll have a good old look at it and just see how it's uh, how it's coming along. That surface water we had just from that little bit of rain makes things a little sticky, uh, perhaps a little bit skiddy. But we'll uh, we'll figure out a way to get going. And well, it's the case here is stick it in for its final session. Uh, oh, there it is, people! It's arrived. That is fantastic news. Well, we are going to we'll scoot up here. We'll come back down the other side, um, and then yeah, we're gonna. I think we'll just hitch the plow off in the field. We'll put the class pretty much straight onto it to have a good run, uh, and we'll see how it's looking. So, uh, this is very exciting news. Can't wait to give the proper thorough going over. Oh, I think he's in into the yard there as well. By the looks of things, my first almost new tractor. It's uh, quite an achievement and very proud moment for me. Uh, the main good thing is as well from a, a, a solo, from a startup farmer, we have some great support for class in the area. The local dealers all support class and have uh, some great knowledgeable fitters who I, some of them I've known for a while, worked with for a while, so they are very knowledgeable, uh, have a great reputation uh, working with class as well. So should anything go wrong moving forward, I have the means and the infrastructure in which to uh, seek help and get these things repaired. Which, when you're starting up and you don't have the facilities or the ability to, to you know, perhaps have your own um, your own workshop fully equipped or your own mechanic, then that is a lifesaver. Uh, but there it is. We're going to go and have a look at it in just a second. There, uh, very exciting. Uh, we'll we'll unhitch this and then we'll see what's uh, see what we've got. Well then, folks, look at this. Here we are. We're just going to um, hook the plow up from the corner of the yard here. I think uh, give us a bit of space to unload the class and put the old case up on on the trailer in an ideal world I may have washed this but uh, I've got no pressure washer or water line here yet so uh, that's something that we need to think about uh, we will get there I'm sure we will but just not yet Right, and then here we are, Class Aryan 640 with front linkage, a real lovely machine, immaculate condition. Very nice, well we'll waste no time I suppose, we'll just jump up and we'll, uh, we'll get this moved. Does it? There we go. And I think as well, whilst we're here, we're just going to stick this straight onto the back of the plow, on the front of the plow. Once the case is out of here, then it's... Yeah, we need to continue. We need to get these fields turned over. So what, by the way? If we continue to grow and get a lot more plowing work in as well, I wouldn't mind upgrading the size of the plow. Uh, this one is... It's a, a nice full thorough plow, but it could always be a little bit bigger. Uh, I think that we could do with maybe a five would be quite adequate. A very good five thorough plow would be great. And you know, I'm going to reverse this one on here as well. Straight up the other ramps. And there we are. Well, I'm going to see the truck driver. We're going to get him all sorted out here so we can get out of here. Um, and then we'll have a proper look at the class and get going. So bear with me and I'll be back with you in just a second or two. Well, with that, everybody, that is the end of the case for me. Uh, it's been a good servant, absolute blinding tractor. Uh, but with this, it is no longer. Uh, we move on, so I am going to have a play with a new machine here. Let's see what we've got ourselves in for, shall we? Uh, no time like the present, but we'll just jump straight into it and we'll get back on plowing. 
Alright, a lovely nice clean car, but everything is now electronics, it's going to take some getting used to here. We've got the Seabus control on as well, which is awesome. And the hydraulics should be all uh, configured properly, there we go, that's going to turn over nicely. Lovely stuff, it already sounds a much quieter, much more comfortable uh, cab to be in. It really is. Alright, and away we go. Yeah, definitely, we're flying here. We could definitely do with at least one more furrow. Uh, like I say, we won't be able to get that now, but maybe next year we will. We'll see how we get on. Uh, so we're going to keep pushing away here. We have... Uh, Oh, we have a lot of ground left to cover, so we're going to keep plowing on, quite literally, see how we get through this, uh, and then we'll come back, where hopefully we can, uh, well, we're going to be doing a little bit of extra work in the next few days with some fertilizers, so the tractor's going to get a good run out, looking forward to it, uh, I can't wait to kind of bring you all along for the ride either, so, uh, we will leave us here though for now, um, I do believe as we get cracking, but what we'll do before we go anywhere else is just have a look at the tractor outside really. See how it's standing. Well, we're getting the tires dirty already. It's got a nice plow in the back, so we are looking fantastic here. Uh, sun is shining. Um, field is not too wet. Just the surface is a little bit skiddy from that rain shower before. But we'll keep cracking on, and we're going to try and get this all covered out. So until next time, thank you ever so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Simulation for the Nation who very kindly offers to host the channel. And we will see you in the next one where we'll go, where we'll really get to grips with the new tractor, I should think. Uh, but until then, thank you ever so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.